Okay, this is a video for a lead ad that we are going to do for one of the Facebook pages. And then I'm going to have you repeat this for the other three locations. So we're going to go into Ads Manager. We're going to say Create Ad. We have to create a new lead ad form for each Facebook page. So that's why you have to do this individually. So we are going to go to Lead Generation. And you always want to make sure you name this leads. So name them all this, but just change the initials for the location. Uh, we're doing the Xmas six month giveaway. Okay, that way this will be really easy to know exactly what we are doing with this ad. And then change the location. So I'll I will do. Lando Lakes, continue. Okay, then you're gonna to wanna to paste that in three spots. So everywhere you have documentation of what this ad is, you know exactly what it is, or we know exactly what it is. Okay, so we are doing Lutes, Lando Lakes. Okay, remember we are going to exclude. This is the same thing. We are excluding this list. And go ahead and exclude this one as well. Those people should be in there already. But... Go ahead and do that one too, where it says members. Okay, so again, we're doing Land of Lakes. You have the mile radius that we do. I do seven miles in this location. So make sure that this is under exclude and not under include. Okay, this one is for boot camp. So we are doing age 33 to 59. I have an ad running right now for females over 60 that are not boot camp. So daily budget, we're going to do $30 a day on this one. We're only going to run this until Wednesday, but we don't want it to end at 2 a.m. Pacific time. We're going to end this that night, I'd say 7 p.m., which is 10 p.m. Pacific Okay, set a bid cap. This is very important because they did not offer me this last time and they ripped me off for the lead ads. Now, oddly enough, I'm surprised it has a max bid for $2. So I've never gotten leads for that low. So let's set it for $4. Now I am just getting emails. So let's set it. Let's just set it for two. That's what it was at. So this lead ad is going to get just emails. I'll show you that in a minute. Click continue. And then this is where you need to change this as well. So you're just changing the initials right here based on the four Facebook pages. 
So this is already connected because you already chose that. Okay, it says you can put the images up. So we're going to X out of that. I'm going to upload the images. And I'm going to give all these to you. Okay, open. So I did six. Now I always look right down here because sometimes it'll say one of three ads, which means it did not upload them all. And then you've got to go look and see which ones it did not upload. Okay, we're gonna have to go create the lead form separately. But right now, all of this looks just like that. It did get all six ads, so that's good. Why does that look like that? Desktop. I sized all of these to be exactly the same size, actually. Okay, so what I'm looking for is I'm just seeing if you saw that fifth ad, I believe. That one's cut off right there. So we need to go find that up here. Okay, so click on that crop thing. There we go. So you've got to scroll that down so it's not cutting off the headline. Done. So that's why it's good to scroll through those things and see how it looks on the mobile news feed. I wouldn't worry about the desktop because most people don't look at Facebook on their desktop. So... We are going to make it for mobile. So you're going to copy and paste the same information in here. I don't like sign up. I like learn more. Even though they are signing up to win something, I still don't like the word sign up. It sounds too salesy and more committal, I think, to people. All right, so we are doing the headline. Paste that. It helps to already have this stuff typed out. So I got my fancy little uh, emojis right there. So cool, those are already done. Those just copied right over. Perfect. Okay, so I actually do copy the same content down here because it says that this will not always display. Now it copied extra ones. I don't know if that's just a glitch. They look like tacos over here, but they're really not. Okay. Conversion, make sure that pixel's right there. And then the display link. This is what they're going to go to. So this is Lutes. So you have the click funnel pages. And that one is this one. Lutes is Land of Lakes. Okay. 
So this will show up down here. See how that went right there? So it's good that I have my name there because then that still is name recognition, which is pretty awesome. Instead of having just a bunch of weird letters. So just keep that in mind if you don't have the name yet to your ClickFunnels page or even your website that you're going to use. Okay, so all of these are done. Okay, so now we have to set up the lead ad. So I'm going to copy a lead ad. I'm going to duplicate a lead ad because there's content that are in these that is easier to duplicate than start fresh. So we're going to duplicate. So you're going to do this in every Facebook page and ad that you're going to create. So the headline is the same headline. Use the image from the ad, that's fine. Okay, this is why I like to copy it because it's already got a bunch of stuff. Now, this is really critical that you change the name of this. So I'm just going to stick with what I have up here. See how I have that right there? Leads. Okay, so again, make sure you change this per the location. And then I want you to change these things. So this is going to be more towards what this is about. We're in six months of... Ladies Only Studio. Okay, that can all stay the same. I did good with my lead ads before, so I'm going to capitalize these. So I would, if you're not seeing these same bullets when you go to copy the ad, copy the one that I did, go back and get the name of that. And um, it was in October, so that should be on every page. If it's not, you're going to need to retype out these bullet points. Okay, so questions. Oh, here's where I do not want the phone number. Okay, we are only going for an email. Okay, this is really important to make sure that you don't have phone number checked. Now, I don't know why this is right here. Because I don't have phone number checked. And I'm going to get rid of their name. I'm testing out getting less information and just getting their email and seeing if it's a lot cheaper doing it this way than going to a landing page just for the email. Customize the headline on top of questions. Didn't I already do that? Okay, let's just put this here and see what that changes. Oh, that's good. Okay, that's right before they enter their information. Again, I don't know why it's showing phone number because it's not checked. So I guess you're just going to need to ignore that because 
I'm going to click save. Um, I'm not finishing it. So intro. Questions. Oh, here we go. Oh, get rid of this. Request additional information. Delete. Perfect. Okay, so that was under custom questions. Now it should just be their email. So I am also going to change this. Okay, this gives them a deadline, lets them know that there is an end to when we are going to announce the winner. Okay, so privacy policy is something that I've already had copied over from, um, you can get generic ones off the internet, but you have to have a privacy policy when you're doing a Facebook lead ad. I already have this copied over, so I don't have to worry about that. Um, thank you, screen. This is critical, too. You have to change this because this goes to a previous promotion that is completely over. So you got to make sure you take really, really good notes that you are not accidentally not changing this. So I'm sending them to my schedule page. I'm not going to send them to the click funnel because if they got to this point, that means they already entered their email. So there's no reason to send them to my click funnel page. Okay, change all that. So thanks, you are entered to win. Okay, so that needs to say view website. So why not? Because this is like, oh, website, before and after photos. Okay, so you need to make sure that every single one of these things is filled out. Personally, I would make sure you have this video open while you're doing these ads. So the settings, again, if you copy any of the previous ones that I've done, the privacy policy will be in there. You know, some of this stuff will already be here, but you've got to change this website. This is absolutely critical. And just because this is so important, I would like you to please get this done, then have this screen up, have this up, and I want you to take a screenshot of this page and just send me a picture of each Facebook page with this website changed um, so we can confirm that that was done. It's that important. All right, so let's see here. Okay, so that is finished. So we're going to hit save. And I'm actually going to copy this. Oops. So I can give that to you. So finish. All right. So this is very time consuming. That's why it, it takes a lot of steps, but it's very productive.
looking at the form there. Okay, so now you'll see this, but keep in mind, this is only on this Facebook page. Each Facebook page, you have to create a new one. Okay, so once that's all done, we're going to say confirm. Okay, so you just posted the Facebook lead ad for one web page for an email only. I don't have this connected right now to Zapier. I need to get it hooked up, but it's 3 o'clock in the morning and i got to get up for church. So I'm just not going to mess with that right now. Um, we'll just get these ads cranking and go from there. So you're going to do the same thing for the other Facebook pages.